Hey everyone, welcome to a very interesting part four of our Navita Swapped 2005 EasyGo TXT. I'm Jeff, welcome to Car Crazy. This isn't going to be your typical uh, build video from me. Um, I actually had three days worth of filming uh, that got destroyed, uh, which I would like to say wasn't my fault, but it actually was. Uh, I messed up deleting the uh, files off the SD card when they weren't completely downloaded uh, onto the computer, so they are gone forever, unfortunately. Um, but I do want to talk about some things that I got done. Um, I was kind of in a mad dash the last couple of days. We had an event coming up yesterday that I wanted to use the cart for here in the community. And I knew I wasn't going to be able to get it complete, but I knew I could get it drivable. So, um, how many of you have seen the movie Tucker? And I think the official name is Tucker, the man and his dream. I think it was filmed maybe in the late 90s, something like that. It was about a man who had this dream that he was going to compete with the big three automakers, uh, Ford, GM, and uh, Chevrolet, and uh, he bought an old factory or rented it or something. I don't remember all the details, but they were trying to get uh, his car on stage for like an auto show or something. It's been years and years since I've seen this video, so I'm probably uh, messing it up, but they were you know, had oil leaks and they were literally had to push the thing on the stage because it didn't even run at the time. And, you know, it looked glamorous, but underneath was uh, basically zip ties and duct tape if they had such a thing in the 50s. Anyway, I say all that to say this. Um, that's basically what I did. Um, the body's not even bolted on uh, in the back. It's just sitting on here. But I was able to get this thing together enough that we used it yesterday. It doesn't have a roof or anything, so we had the convertible cart. So because of that, I have everything zip-tied in and just kind of sitting in here temporarily so we could use it. I thought this thing was going to rattle like my old 74 Ford driving around the community, but it actually was relatively quiet. Uh, the rear differential um, is a little noisy. I've got to change the oil in there yet. I'm going to do a video on that to show you all how to do that. But it was a lot of fun. Um, we used it and did what we needed to do. So I want to kind of go over what I did on those videos that got lost um, or destroyed, deleted, whatever you want to say. Um, just so you guys kind of have an uh, up-to-speed look on where we are. Um, I had videos uh, of putting this body together, this storm body kit, which you can go back on some of my previous builds and see that if you need the info. Um, we did all that. Um, I completed all the wiring, color coded all the ends. Um, you know, had a lot of fun. Built a new bracket in here for uh, the solenoid. We just had a temporary one in there. Uh, what else did I get done? Ran all the tail light and headlight wiring. Got the floorboard painted. There's just the original rubber mat. I'm waiting for the correct one to come. Amazon sent me one for a Yamaha for some reason, so I've just got that one in there for now. Got the uh, instrument panel in, our wires ran uh, up here for our forward and reverse. We got our um, on-the-fly controller done. Got that all buttoned up, or in, in place, not buttoned up. We still got to run uh, and mount it officially. One thing I really wanted you all to see is I replaced these bushings uh, in here because there was so much slop in there. It was wearing the tires out. You can see the original tires that are on it sitting over there, and they're all wore out on one side. Um, these were completely shot. So I, I had some real good footage on how to do all of that, um, which was really cool. Um, this shock cover is just temporarily sitting there. Uh, I replaced the boot that was all dry rotted. Got that all done. Of course, wheels and tires, I totally missed the mark on the uh, wheels and tires uh, size wise. The last two storm body kits I've done, I ran a bigger 14 inch, about a 20 inch tire, and they rubbed. This cart, for whatever reason, it's a newer model, um, has just an absolute ton of room, and I can certainly fit a bigger uh, 
tire in there, so I'm probably going to be reordering, and I'll just save these for another project. I do have different seats ordered. Um, these were just originals that I threw some covers on quick. Um, this one didn't turn out all that great. It's got a few wrinkles and stuff in it. Um, but it was good enough to get uh, get through the day yesterday. So a lot at you here in a, in a short amount of time, but I'm super disappointed. I was really excited to show you all the footage I had, and um, it's just not going to happen, unfortunately. But here's where we're at with the cart, and what's coming up next is um, I, I'm ordering a, a tower top, which I've used before, back seat kit that goes with that, custom seats. Really excited to show you the seats that I've got ordered for these, something I've never done before on any of the builds. Um, so that's going to get put in. Uh, what else did I order? Um, oh, a new steering wheel, which is here. I don't have that on yet. Um, you guys want to go outside, I bet, huh? There you go, bud. All right. Sorry about that. Um, Goodness gracious, I, I'm, I'm just kind of beside myself. I'm so disappointed that I lost all that footage, but I really wanted to give you kind of an update here, obviously. So, we'll get, uh, we'll get these next uh, shipment of parts in and um, keep working on this guy. Well, not your typical video from me, I know, and I, I'm sorry about that. I'm super disappointed, but uh, head on over to Cart Crazy on Facebook if you haven't done that. You can follow me and see some behind-the-scenes things going on there. And uh, we'll get some new parts in for this guy and uh, get a next video coming uh, along as soon as we can. We'll see you next time on Cart Crazy.